I was sent an email by Brother Esau early this morning. I clicked on the link and it sent me to Complex Sneakers Twitter page. This was on the front of the Twitter page. And you have black people, but especially black women, justifying why a 107 year old Viola Fletcher wearing her first pair of Air Jordans. Wow. Who thought of this bright idea? So I email him back and I say, they all over social media crying about what Michael Jordan did to Kwame Brown. But they'll go out, purchase Jordans and put it on a 107 year old black woman who survived the Tulsa massacre. Then brother Esau replied back to me, he said, it don't even have to go that far. The Jews would not put Nike sneakers, Jordans, on the feet of a Holocaust survivor. Make a, a viral photo out of it. Put it on Complex Magazine. Twitter site. This is supposed to be some type of victory. And I said, man, you know what? I'm going to add in what you just said, and I'm going to add in my Kwame Brown commentary because this goes to prove everything I've been saying about black people here on this channel. Yes, it's good to get thumbs up. It's good to be liked. It's good to get views. But when the people that support you don't implement what they say that they like, they believe in, it's useless. It's useless. With this Kwame Brown situation, you guys have given him hundreds and hundreds of thousands of subscribers. Good. But many of you subscribers are, in fact, hypocrites. Because you'll call out Jordan because the way he treats black America, because he acts like he isn't black. He came out in the past and said, my shoes aren't made just for black people. I'm paraphrasing, but that's what he said. Okay. On top of all of that, you're allegedly pissed at Michael Jordan because of the way he treated Kwame Brown. This is one of the reasons why you subscribed to his YouTube channel, right? But even though you talk a good game, you still have Jordans on your feet and to add insult to injury, you put a pair of powder blue and white Jordans. You didn't even put the black ones i mean what if what if you would have gotten the pro black jordans all black with i don't know uh african color shoelaces shoestrings whatever because black people know how to color coordinate they know how to mix and match their outfits especially black women. They can wear the same leggings for an entire year and you would not know those are those same stinky ass leggings she wear every single day. You would think that she switches up. So black women know what they're doing because we're going to get into the tweets you see by black women on the right side of your screen because they're behind this. They're, they're defending this, saying that, well, 
This is from a, a all black shoe store. In Oklahoma. Okay. If that is the case, why didn't she at least get a pair of all black Jordans? The reason why she did not get a pair of all black Jordans is because they wanted the world to see her in Jordans. So for those Jordans to stand out because Jordan is black gold. This is why I tell Kwame Brown, you cannot trust these new niggas. When, when Uncle Ruckus said, don't trust them new niggas over there. I mean, he was spot on. Uncle Ruckus is spot on about a lot of things he says. He is. He's spot on. But this is why you can't take that, that fake love for Kwame Brown seriously. It's conditional. They don't really hate Jordan. They really want to get at Stephen A. Smith. But whoever is in their way to get to Stephen A. Smith, they're willing to attack them. So Matt Barnes and the rest of them got caught in a crossfire. Then on the flip side, we have... Oh, before we get to the flip side, uh, the reason why they did not pick the Black Jordans is because you cannot see that they are Black Jordans. They wanted to make sure who, who, who's ever looking at this picture knows this 107-year-old Black woman has on Jordans. So they picked the loudest color they could find. I wouldn't be surprised if after that photo shoot was over, they took those Jordans back off her feet, repackaged them, and they're back up for sale. Now to the flip side of this also, because whether you pick heads or tails, the A side or the B side, it's both bad. So this is a 107-year-old woman that was seven years old when she witnessed experienced, lived the Tulsa massacre. She even said that she remember hearing planes in the sky. So yes, that is true that Black Wall Street was a very wealthy place, but it was destroyed by racist white America. This is why putting those Nikes on that woman is a slap in the face. Who hates black people more? Someone coming to social media, telling you what's going on with black people or this shit right here. You can't even justify this. You had another brother that they, uh, they overlooked because you know, they always want to put the black woman, meaning the liberal media, the liberal, uh, uh, ads like Nike, like Complex, they want to put the black woman at the forefront all the time. You've been in this struggle alone. Even though there's a black man who survived the Tulsa massacre too, also, there's two of them. You don't see him in any sneakers. You don't see uh what would you call complex? They're sneaker, but they're they're a uh, hip hop culture, black culture, washed, whitewashed, I guess, washed in white, liberal. The, these are white people behind the scenes pushing black culture, but you want to sit on my channel and talk to me about Asians using the n-word in california like your entire culture isn't integrated complex magazine complex sneakers is an amazon prime example an amazon prime example that black america is integrated 
They're able to tell black people, hey, put these Jordans on this 107 year old. I would go as far as saying she's an icon, even though she did not fight. She was only seven. But because she can tell you memories. That's that's enough. You don't need white people to disrespect and see again. We always talk about respecting our elders. We always talk about respecting uh, icons, people that came before before us, that paved the way for us. Black people disrespect them every chance they get. This is why white people disrespect them. This is why the Asians disrespect them because they see black people disrespect their own people that made a way for them that can tell the story that they're trying to tell. When you go around saying that black people had a uh, 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 black Wall Street, when you go around telling black people that and white people that, but you disrespect the last two or just the only two people we know of that's still living, breathing, they still come out and tell their story, but you disrespect them. But then you want to hop on social media and talk about the Asians saying that black people beating, uh, beating them up. But Muhammad Ali, yeah, Muhammad Ali didn't go to Vietnam. And, and all that may be true, but you guys disrespect your own people. So why should they respect you and your elders? No other culture would, would go as far as putting shoes in front of someone's accomplishments. You guys do that right here on social media. You guys put money, status over everything, even your soul. That's for sale. Many Many black people here on social media will sell their soul for a view, for a follow. For real. For real. Some of you are listening to me right now. You value everything else except yourself. Complex sneakers was more concerned about showing off those Jordans. They could care less about that lady surviving. Surviving the Tulsa massacre. The Tulsa massacre. Okay, then to add insult to injury, on the right, we have Silhouette. Silhouette is the uh, black owned sneaker shop. Miss Viola is sitting in in her wheelchair with a pair of Jordans. <sighs> See, black people have this uh, desire to look like they are rich or look like they got money. This is why certain YouTubers are big. Not to say any names because they want to live vicariously through people. They will, they will sell their soul to look like they got some money. This is another Amazon Prime example. That being broke stereotype has caused more damage than anything. Silhouette is a black owned shoe store on Black Wall Street, Greenwood. For those who may be confused. She has 180 retweets, 23 replies, and 1,400 loves. See, when you look at these numbers, you would actually think that she said something good. But this actually goes to show how dumb the public is. This is why I tell you, don't get so caught up with the likes the views because they're all conditional it's all conditional the fact that she got so much uh love 
so much love from this dumb ass tweet. So because it's a black owned sneaker shop on Black Wall Street, that makes this okay. No, it doesn't. Shawnee talks lifestyle. She replies, yes, indeed. My husband's custom Black Wall Street Jordan's 13s were featured in the store for several months last year. So why don't she have them on? Why don't she have on those custom Black Wall Street Jordans? Hey, I, I got to say something really, really quick. I know you have a few of you out there who's been kind of upset with me. But even though you've been upset with me because of my opinion or whatever on certain stories, I've been on fire. Y your boy been, you know, volcanoes aren't the only things that's erupting around the globe. But your boyfriend, your, I mean, excuse me, your husband had enough sense to get the custom Black Wall Street Jordan 13s, the custom, but for some odd reason, they could not suggest that for her. This is why I say these uh, pro-blacks are fake. These pro-blacks are straight up fake, man. Phony. He reached out to Complex Sneakers to see if they were interested in featuring them for the Centennial. So they didn't even want to feature. Okay. Yeah, he did not. Listen, they did not even want to feature. So her husband, not her, not you. Your husband had the right idea. Because if it was left up to her, she would have had her in those powder blue and white Jordans also. Or should I say buttermilk white and powder blue. But her husband said, hey, put these on her feet. So that lets you know she's not keeping those sneakers. So this is just a photo op. Just sad. Just sad. Just it ain't even real, man. Y'all, y'all, listen, man. Listen. <laughs> Before you worry about what any Asian in California is saying, you got to fix your own stuff, man. Black people toe up, man, how you treat each other, how you make excuses. There's no way in hell you have a 107-year-old woman, whether she survived the Tulsa massacre or not. Even if she just grew up in sunny California, she lived to see 107 years old. She hasn't had a fight in 107 years of her life. She still doesn't belong in a pair of Jordans. I'm lost for words. I don't have any anything more to say. Enjoy your Memorial Day. I'm out. Peace.